What up guys? My name's So Slow, and this is Fire for Effect, episode 42, where I bring you all of today's news and information for World of Tanks and other wargaming titles. We got a lot of stuff to go through, so let's get into it. First up, Watt Weekly, episode 100. If you throw in all of the uh, Focus Fridays, uh, it's not really 100, but for the Watt Weekly title, it is definitely 100. Um, link in the description below talks about uh, all the stuff going on this weekend and things that you might want to know about and how to or, and he shows you well not really shows but proves that indeed Michael does tie his own real bow ties. Next up, Frontline Returns. I know there's a lot of people have been just waiting for this mode to kick in and get back. Um, a lot of stuff that's going on here, so you're gonna want to get into the uh, the um, link in the description below and read up on everything that's coming a lot of stuff has changed there is even the ability to win reward tanks so everything you see here the front lines episodes the rewards the map rebalancing the updated prestige mechanics tank rental the rental system will only be available in frontline but all this stuff is talked about the thing that is the most important that i think everybody should know about is a reward vehicles so each of the prestige points that you're going to be getting for the different levels will uh, allow you to get up to two of these reward vehicles. Um, the first one is the STA-2, the second one is the WZ-111, uh, the next is the Swedish Emil 1951, and then the last one is an unknown, unannounced, Tier 9 tank of some sort. So get into the description, read about this stuff so you can know what's going on and, uh, best, and to be able to best uh, work your way up to get these tanks. And then for the weekend it is two times crew XP and missions. Uh, and also 1.4 common test number three is here, the third iteration of the test server. This will probably be the last one. There are a lot of changes in this one. Uh, most specifically, the probably the biggest thing is that they have gotten rid of the boost on the wheelie light tanks. Apparently nobody was using it. Now, I don't know if this is such a great idea to get rid of the mechanic. Um, really, you need... I, I would have rather seen them add the ability to start your boost while you're sitting in cap, waiting for the countdown to get done, and then uh, go, or... I don't know. I, I think there's there's more that they could have done um, in order to, uh, to make the boost work better or whatever. But anyways, all that information is in the description below and the link. Go click it. Um, also in Wargaming, on NA anyways, special hour on the FCM 36 Pack 40. So if you are interested in this little Tier 3 uh, Tank Destroyer, it is slow. So slow. And it is... But it's got a great gun. Incredible view range for a Tier 3. All that stuff. Um, yeah. Available for limited time. If you want it, you can uh, get a war pack chest with it or just buy you know, a couple of different packages here. And then they're also selling the IS-2 and the PZ Kampfwagen S35-739F. Try and say that 10 times fast. Basic standard things apply here with as far as the packages. You got an ultimate war chest type thing starting off at uh, about $73 or $74. I can't, yeah, 70, 73, 4, something like that. Anyways. Then it just goes down from there to the paying for the tank for $25.99 all by itself. And then the same thing with the Panzer uh, Kampfwagen S35-739F. A little bit cheaper because this is a tier 3. Uh, starting at 61 bucks, all the way down to a whopping $7 for the tank by itself. Links are in the description below. Heard a rumor uh, from a friend. Someone told me, a little boo bird, that the... Premium tank buyback turn-in sell thing is also valid on NA. I've not seen anything to actually uh, corroborate this as far as official notice. I haven't seen anything on the forums. There was nothing in the website. So I just threw the link out here. And if it is, then you can go to the link and check the description. You know, click on the link and read the instructions on the tanks that they're taking. They're not taking on all that good stuff. And yeah, so go check it out. And then over in EUs, they have their first XP Fever of the Year. It is a doozy. So you pay, play your two tiers two through five, uh, do the mission, you get some XP. And then same thing for tiers six through eight, or six and seven, I'm sorry. Eight 
and then 10. And 8 and 10 are worth 10,000 XP apiece. Wargaming NA, can we get something like this? Because, yeah, I, I, I'd like that. It'd be great. Also, a very important thing to notice is that is, there is a 50% discount on equipment and consumables, and they have a training XP, so crew XP conversion of 1 free XP to 10 X, crew XP. So you could, uh, if you were really hurting to finish out a six cents perk or something, you could uh, get that done real quick. That's over on the EU. And then next up on the EU, they are selling the Progetto uh, M35 Tier 8 Italian tank, premium tank. Uh, different packages and stuff here, starting at their Supreme at 110 or $111.10. 10 I don't know why, but Wargaming EU is always selling their highest package for that much. Exactly. It doesn't matter what's in it, that's how much it's for. And then the Ultimate and then the tank by itself. So different prices, and those are EU or US dollars. Uh, for NA on the forums, got a PSA, a public service announcement. The US E server is gonna be shut down. Now that the holiday's over, the U E server is gonna go back into a dormant state, waiting for the next big event that apparently they think we need to have a server for. Which I don't quite agree with that, cause yeah, whatever. And then the Shatter Day Showdown, Shatter Day Showdown, tonight, tomorrow, they will announce the base XP that you need to beat, so make sure you're playing your T71, either brand will work, doesn't matter, play them both, get those XP uh, screenshots ready to go, and you can put it either on the Twitter, or you can go over to their Facebook page, I was going to link it, and I forgot, I got busy at work, so uh, you can do either or, Twitter or Facebook, and then you should get paid out with stuff if you beat the base XP. Link in the description below. And over on the Daily Bounce, they have released uh, information on the Tier 8 Czech Premium Tank, the TVPT27. Uh, you can go check that out if you're interested in listen, learning about it. And then also, uh, there was an interesting little bit that I found about uh, some folks getting an email. And basically, this is over on EU, they got an email saying, you have a one day rental in the Polish T50, TP50. Tier 8 premium heavy tank. If in that one day you can come out with the top XP out of everybody that plays a tank, it's yours to keep. So the top guy. I thought this was kind of interesting and, and neat. Uh, I know uh, Harnikin over at the Daily Bounce is wondering if anybody has gotten this email. So if you're an EU player and you got it, why don't you pop over and let him know. And then Wak Guru, uh, apparently the NA, Wargaming NA has released uh, released January bonus booster codes for the scavenger hunt um, so the CC's have booster codes that you can input and get and then when you get five of them I think it is you get uh, a secret mission and what guru goes through and explains exactly how that secret mission looks uh, why you don't see any results for it or anything it just it just shows up it just pops and there it is once you get all the codes and how you, how you recognize that you actually got it. It's like a times five booster, XP booster, or something like that for five battles or 10 battles. I don't remember exactly. But Wat Guru's link is in the description below. You can check that out if, you have, uh, if you're wondering, if you have questions. I will do my best to round up CC codes and find the other scavenger hunt codes or whatever so that I can share them here with you. And that's it, guys. Omnis Vixen Selfless Samaritan Replay Contest. You could get 4 k gold, gold just by being a swell guy or gal in a world of tanks and helping a fellow tanker who's having a problem. I'm always giving stuff away in my stream and then uh, Wargaming's always giving stuff away from their From the Forge contest that they do every month. Make something. Make a make a pie, make a pizza shaped in pepperonis in a tank. Uh, make a meatloaf tank or something out of matchsticks or Legos or draw a really awesome paint, tank picture or make a diorama. Do something Take pictures of it, send it into I made this for WG at wargaming.net, I think is the email. The link's in the description below to a to the forum post what has the email, blah blah blah. And uh, you could win uh, some pretty pretty substantial prizes. That's it guys. Fire for effect, January 25th. Like, share, subscribe. I appreciate all of you. And make sure you share this. Send it to a friend who never knows what's going on and what. I'll get them up to speed. And uh, as always, be excellent to each other, and may RNG forever be in your favor. How you guys like that new Warships computer? It's pretty sweet.